you don't think there would be future ahead of you seeing what happened. Some parts of the towns were completely gone, flattened. You saw cars everywhere. You saw the debris, the waste, the wood. It was so bad that you almost lost hope. The big tsunami 10 years ago is a wake-up call for the government of Indonesia. The government established National Disaster Management Office of Indonesia, or we call it BNPB. The role of this office is to coordinate the disaster risk management in this country, as well as to promote disaster risk reduction. Indonesia, despite having a lot of really well-acquired experience in how to deal with these disasters, none of this was being codified. None of it really was extracting lessons that could address future disasters. The experience needs to be institutionalized. That's why the government, through the initiative of the parliament, enacted the first time in, in, in the history of Indonesia law on disaster management. We realized that the whole experience we have to capture and start working with knowledge sharing. The sharing across horizontally is a very, very powerful tool. There's nothing more powerful than a professional from one city learning from another guy who's done the same thing. This is the problems we had. This is how we solved them. The government of Indonesia appointed BNPB to start this project. The World Bank Institute support us to develop this knowledge sharing system. The bank's interventions looked at the way knowledge is shared within the organization, the way in which experiences from a given natural disaster are documented or not, and what the incentives and what the mechanisms are for encouraging sharing of practical experience from one natural disaster to another. What BNPBDL is developing are practical tools that can help staff as they are conducting their day-to-day -day job to be able to understand the context of disaster and how effective response can be undertaken. Every department has its own learning. Departments share knowledge, which can be used for BNBP management in the future. The goal is the availability of knowledge sharing as a product. It can be a database or a package that is ready to be downloaded and shared with everyone. The priority now is to train our BPBD officer. Let them know what the knowledge sharing system is, introduce to them how it will work in the future. In development, it's much more important to see how things are done rather than talking about it in a theoretical way. Agencies like BNPB generate knowledge on a daily basis. For them to be able to capture that, document it, and share it not just within Indonesia but broadly is a very important thing. At the provincial level, there's now understanding. Before we start from scratch, let's look at how two or three other local districts have dealt with response planning for recovery. Every time there is an event, it becomes a source of learning. The NPB have established a system to be able to capture those moments and lessons and make them as information that can easily transfer, not only domestically, but also internationally. Our goal is save more life. So how to save more lives? is knowledge. If every stakeholder, all the disaster management officer, they can enhance their knowledge, they can better prepare to save more lives. We must not forget the past. We learn from the past and be prepared for the future.